Wonderland. Today we are going to do a get ready with me video. I'm doing like kind of an everyday glam. I'm also trying out a couple new products so it's also a first impressions video and I thought I would shop my makeup stash for products that I don't use as often. Um, that way, you know, I obviously don't get to try as many products out as most beauty influencers because I buy all the products myself. So sometimes it's good to shop your stash and you know, you get to re fall in love with what you like. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, you can't really tell in this video, but I have a ton of self tanner on right now and I have to wait to wash it off. So my face is a very different color than my body. So we'll be matching that with some foundation. To get started, I kind of forgot I had this product as you'll hear me say about a couple of these products. Um, it's the Urban Decay Quick Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray. So my face has been a little bit extra dry, like a little bit extra. It's been extra dry lately with the weather and stuff here. Um, so I'm just going to use this before I use my primer, add a little bit of extra hydration. So I'm going to be using my usual face primer, which is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Nourishing Primer. But this tan's actually really dark, but you can't tell. Like, I'm so pale. Somebody take me on vacation! So next, going in with my other usual primer. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And I've been hooked. Fati did it again. I swear, I can always count on a recommendation from Fati. They just work. She knows her stuff. So for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing the darkest foundation that I have, which is also, I love it, I've been using it for the past couple weeks again, and it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Let me tell you guys, this stuff does not move, it says stay in place makeup. They weren't lying, they were not lying. And then because it is quite matte and I am pretty dry, I'm going to add some of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, and together they will create a good color and base. So I just mix it on this glass palette that I have. I love this thing. So I just place a couple drops of one guy, a couple drops of the other. Mix them together. Mix way too much of it. Waste a bunch of expensive foundation. Story of my life. Okay, and then taking my Beauty Blender Pro, I'm going to blend this out. Also guys, just remember that my body isn't actually going to be this dark because I still have to wash the base off, so I'm going a little bit lighter with my foundation. Okay, so next coming as zero surprise at all, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. Okay guys, I'm going to set my under eyes with my CoverFX Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And then a new product that I'll be trying out is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. It's a long name. I got the shade Medium 2. And I'm pretty disappointed because I got it from Nordstrom and then I got home and there was fingerprints all over it. There was like no plastic thing in it. And then there's also like a nail dent in it. But Nordstrom doesn't take returns on cosmetics. So 
guess we're gonna use it anyways because it was a very expensive powder. Anyways, so I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be setting my entire face. Now for light, it does seem like it's like a, or sorry, for medium, it seems like it's a pretty light powder. But I have heard everybody talk about this powder and say nothing but good things, so. Alright guys, I am put a lot of this on and it does not look cakey at all. Like it literally looks like my face is airbrushed. Well, I didn't really want to believe the hype on that because like, that is expensive, but genuinely, it looks really, really good. No exaggerations. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm done admiring that, um, let's bronze up the face. I don't normally use this because I am usually very pale, but I figured today why not. So I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Okay, so now that we are very bronzed, we are going to move on to eyeshadow. I like to do my eyeshadow first and then pick my blush and highlight and lip color. Um, so for today, I know I have talked about these Juvia Place palettes in a previous video, but I haven't used these two in a video yet. So these are the two that I am using today. So this is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place and it is quite colorful. But there's also neutrals in there, so that's what we'll be using today. And then the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And this one is much more neutral. Okay, so taking the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, I'm going to take take Katsuna, which is this neutral, warm transition shade. And I'm just taking that on a large, fluffy bl blush brush and just blending that into my crease as my transition shade. And I'm also just going to take this on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so once we have that, I'm going into the Masquerade palette, and I'm going to take the shade Burkina, which is a deeper brown shade. This one's definitely more on the neutral side, leaning actually a little bit cool. And I'm taking it on the same brush and just applying this into the crease farther down. Okay, and then once I have that done, I'm going to take a smaller crease brush and I'm going to take the shade Fulani. These names are not making my life easy. And it is just this darker, neutrally cool tone brown shade. <laughs> my descriptive words are not on point. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner of my eye. Alright guys, and then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go back into the Saharan palette and I'm going to grab this kind of rose gold champagne shade called Zoya and I am going to pack that on the inner third of my eye and I'm actually just going to use my finger. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend those together by using our initial transition shade, just so that we have no harsh lines. Just very gently layering over top on the edges. And then on top of that, because I'm extra, and I haven't actually used this yet, which is so sad because I got it as soon as it came out. So I'm going to take the Stila liquid metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade retro rose gold 
And I'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to use my finger and just tap over that lid color that I just placed down. Just for like a tiny bit of extra sparkle. I mean like I really did not add very much but it just gave it like a little tiny bit of extra something else. I can definitely notice it in person. I am going to apply some liquid liner to my upper lash line just a little bit and I'm going to go fill in my brows and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so I am back with lashes on and I have no idea why I ever stopped using these lashes because I freaking love them. They're, they're so beautiful. Okay, so now that I'm done obsessing over my lashes, I'm going to go do my blush. So I'm using the Tarte Bl Blush Bazaar palette. I can't talk today. I think we're going to go for something like more bronzy neutral. So I'm going to go for the shade Angelic. It's like a neutral kind of peachy bronzy color. And then for highlight today, I'm going to switch it up by a landslide and use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Swirl Illuminator, Gelato Swirl Illuminator. Why do I insist on saying the full names of these products? Ooh, that was a real thing that did. Oh God. I did not brace myself for that one. Ooh, okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. That's still a lot, and I didn't even read up my brush. <laughs> I'm nuts. And I'm gonna take some in the inner corner as well. Okay, and we shall finish up the lower lash line. So going in with the initial transition shade that we used, which was from the Saharan palette. Going to connect it to the outer corner of my eyeshadow. And then going in with the other transition shade that we use. Focusing this closer to my lash line. Okay, and then taking a super small amount of the like defining shade that we used, I'm just going to apply this right along the lash line. Focusing it mainly on the outer corner. And then because this is like a daytime kind of glam, I am going to apply some uh, NYX Wonder Pencil. This is just like a skin toned eyeliner shade and I'm just gonna apply this to the waterline. Just to keep the eyes like nice and open. Okay, so that's the eyes done. And then lastly is lip color. So I'm going to be using a new product. This is the YSL Tattooage Couture Matte Stain. This is in number seven, and it is already dirty from being on this table. Um, and I'm just going to apply this. The applicator on this is really interesting. It's like a flat doe foot applicator. And so this is like kind of a My Lips But Better neutral pink shade. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry down. And it was quite easy to apply once you got the, like, the hang of the fact that it was more of an angular applicator and then lastly for first impressions I'm trying the Milani make it last setting spray this was in Kathleen lights favorites of 2017 video so I thought I had to try it so hold on let me you gotta get the test spray out okay So this is the finished look guys. I will update you my thoughts on the products that I tried, um, how they were throughout the day and stuff down in the description box. But so far I really liked everything that I tried. The Milani setting spray had like a really nice mist on it. My face didn't look powdery to begin with to be honest so I can't say that it helped with that. The Charlotte Tilbury powder was beautiful. I really, really like that. And so far I can say that it's worth the hype, but I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and let you know. 
Um, the YSL lipstick is really pretty and very comfortable. It has dried down. It does have a little tiny bit of transfer, but it feels really comfortable. It's not accentuating any lines in my lips. And what else did I try today? The Stila eyeshadow is really pretty on my lids. It added a little bit of extra sparkle and there is zero fallout on my face. And the Juvia's Place palette blended out so, so nicely. I really, really like this eyeshadow look and just makeup look in general. I'm having a very good makeup day in my personal opinion. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this kind of shop my stash, first impressions, everyday glam makeup look, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from me in the future and I will see you all again very soon. Bye everyone.